What's up? It's your boy, Gator Jewel. Can't be no motherfucking fool, man. I'm here with your boy. Lano from Dust, a.k.a. Schmeez. She would give me flowers, but be sucking up my nectar. Let the foot of streets like a serial directions. It ain't really nothing to lift you up if you around me. In these four walls, I know the Lord gonna pour about me. You know what I'm saying? Schmeez, that sounds like, you know what I'm saying, not from like, you know, a southern place. Are you from here? Are you from Texas? Where are you from? Man, nah, man, I'm from New York, man. So, you, New York born and raised? Yes, sir, man. Born in Jamaica, Queens, raised in Long Island, man. Tell us how that was, like, your early upbringings and how that incorporated to your music style now. Um, Well, like, I was, I grew up, like, big on, like, New York MCs, like, yeah. Nas or even, like, 50 Cent, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Even most deaf, you know what I'm saying? A lot of artists that was, like, out there putting work in for a long time, so legends, you know what I'm saying? I always look up to legends, you know what I'm saying? But, like, um... Those were, like, some artists that I was really rocking with. And then, like, I think, like, around whenever I was, like, 15, mm-hmm. I moved out to like, to the South. Like, mm-hmm. my mom, she, I'm saying, she wanted to move down to like, Atlanta. So mm-hmm. we went out to the South. And, like, a lot of my influence kind of started molding when I was still in high school. So that kind of molded my sound, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, for the most part. But, like, uh, I really, I, I'm thankful because, like, I feel like my sound is kind of diverse because of that. So... Um, yeah, I'm really grateful for that, bro. But like, yeah, it's like it's definitely um, yeah. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> say like that's what it is. That's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so who would your you know your top influential artists like who influenced you the most? You know what I'm saying? Out of everybody, you know what I'm saying? You done traveled the world, basically the United States. You know what I'm saying? So. You got different regions, so who is your top, you know what I'm saying? Biggest, Who's your biggest influence? My biggest influence. Yes. Um, honestly, I'll, I have to, I'll give it to, to, to Mike on a good day, you know what I'm saying? M- Michael Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Tito, you know what I'm saying? He just died today, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Yeah, rest, in, rest in peace to Tito Jackson, he's a legend too, you know what I'm saying? They was all part of it. Exactly, Jackson 5. Yeah. Big five. You know what I'm saying? So Michael Jackson is your biggest influence. Goddamn voice crack. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. We had to, <laughs> I'm a goddamn do a fake right there because goddamn. But yeah, Michael Jackson, big influence. You know what I'm saying? Um, is there anyone, you know what I'm saying, that you would say like, because when I hear some of your music, it definitely does give like some most deaf vibes. It give like some Andre 3000 vibes. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you kind of in a pocket, but not saying that you're that you're like boxed in. It's just saying that that's where your sound is going. So yeah. would you say that? I mean, well, I mean, for the most part, like I, I mean, I, I replicate like a lot of different sounds that I was kind of influenced whenever mm-hmm. I when I was coming up. Like, like, like as an artist, like whatever you um, whatever you've been like molded with while you were growing and up. Young, that's yeah. what, that's what kind of like the material that you use. Yes, you know what I'm saying in a sense. To get, yeah, in you your bag, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. So it's like. I mean, I, I mean, I, honestly, I, I'm I'm not ashamed to say a lot. I know a lot of other people are kind of like scared to like. They want to be like I'm fully original. You know what I'm saying? I'm, but like, you gotta I, grab from somebody. You know what I'm saying? I, I I started making music because of me, ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, like, please stop it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know you, somebody else. We know you right. You know, we know you bump young boy, bro. Like that's yeah. your flow the same, bro. But like, anyways, we're gonna we're gonna move off the topic. But like, anyways, son. Yeah, it's like keeping it original, but yet still paying homage. You know what I'm saying? That's what you. That's what you on. You know what I'm saying? There's other people like you just said, son, and just like you know what I'm saying, young boy, he not paying homage. He just jacking his whole style. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I grew up on. I grew up on this, like listening to like artists who were able or MCs who were able to take like like little parts from other MCs that came mm-hmm. before them and incorporate that with their music. Yeah, and still make it like sound original or make it sound like oh shit like some some hard shit or like you know what I'm saying but they always but like the MCs I listen to they always you know what I'm saying shouted these guys out you know what I'm saying but that's not something that like our generation has, has like really gained accustomed to everybody think like you know what I'm saying they shit smell better than you know what I'm saying the last generation you know what I'm saying feel me but everyone everyone's giving you know what I'm saying doing their part to build up you know what I'm saying to what is now you know what I'm saying so uh, you know what would you say, like, your first song was like? Like, what was the name of the song? What was the vibes of the song? You know what I'm saying? Would it be something that you would, like, play, you still bump? You know what I'm saying? Just to listen to, like, the first creation. 
Um, for the first creation, you said you said like the, the song I like, bump like for the first. Like your first, your first ever song that you ever made. Would you still bump it right now? You still have replay replay value. Yes. Ah, nah, I'll be honest, it doesn't. But like that song is what song is it? That, that song was pretty hard. We really spazzed on that joint. It was me, and my boy Sean. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sean Samo, shout outs. Um, who else? You know what I'm saying? Me. It was, it was me and it was me and Sean. You know what I'm saying? But but Sean is like a really like he was a real skilled MC whenever I met yeah. him. And I was like my, one of my first songs that I really did. It was mm-hmm. called Commas. You know what I'm saying? You can still look it up. I think it's on SoundCloud. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all go y'all go look at that. That's his first creation. It was a feature joint. He had his boy, him and Sean, and who else? Yeah, Lana from Dust, yours truly. Hey. There you go. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So now that you're seeing you're saying basically it had no repay value now, but how do you feel about your transformation through your musical journey? Um, my transformation, um, I think I feel like it's been very po- poetic, mm-hmm. if you ask me, because mm-hmm. um, I started off like really not knowing how to really know how to write one line. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying I didn't know how to write a rhyme, so like it exactly. was just like I never saw myself even getting to a point like where I'm at right now where I'm like the progression I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm saying damn near a thousand songs in if I if I could count them even though I never did but like you know what I'm saying I'm just saying like metaphorically I'm just like I feel like I'm a thousand hours in at my craft yeah and like they say a hundred hours is all you need to perfect the craft you know what I'm saying I feel like it's more you know what I'm saying on some Dragon Ball Z shit you know what I'm saying <laughs> what's your favorite Dragon uh, Ball Z uh, character I'm, I'm. I don't want to be. A, I don't want to be a cornball, but you know I'm rocking with my nigga son Goku, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. We out here. Like you know what I'm saying. I, I low key rock the, the orange for Goku, low key. And my design is low key. He said. He said it was. You know it was for for. You know what I'm saying. And the star right there, low key. Dragon Ball Z inspired a little bit, but like you zoom in to that. On the, yeah. On the right there. That's gonna be the thumbnail. Yeah. Stay there. Bow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but goddamn. Yeah. But uh, Goku, I, I'm really, I'm a big Goku fan, man. He's, he's just, I, I feel like he kind of just like represents just like pushing yourself to go to the next level and just mm-hmm. never quitting. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I, I see myself as that. Like I, I just feel like I'll never have a cap on whatever I'm trying to do, bro. Just keep it original, keep it true. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah, just I'm always just like carving from like original thoughts and just like original ideas not just want original people around me that's how I'm gonna keep it genuine gotta be genuine be around them man that's what he's saying you got any like uh, got any songs that you're like damn I should release this you ain't never released it yet cause you know I know there's ones that you know artists like to hide shit in the chamber way deep down and wait for it and wait for a perfect moment so I had to ask like you got like I know you got a banger in there way back in there that you just holding on to of course, of course, of course. You know what it is, man. All artists do. You know what I'm saying? All artists do. I'm not the only one. You know what I'm saying? It's not just like the the Cardi effect or whatever the case might be. You're just waiting on the perfect time. Nah, yeah, bro. It's just like I, I know I got like timeless music. And I'm not just trying to put it out and then just go to the void. It might, it might, yeah, exactly. It might be too ahead of its time that you have to wait till other people catch and, up. And, and it also might be insecurity but like you know what I'm saying but as an artist that's like type of things you gotta conquer to like get to the top yeah you versus you you know what I'm saying all legends gotta go through it you gotta just figure out execution and timing speaking of uh, making music you know what I'm saying uh, what would be like your best advice for people that have uh, you know writer's block or you know what I'm saying what cause I've I, I'm gonna start asking this question more and more cause I wanna know what other artists are gonna say what is your remedy for writer's block? Remedy for writer's block. Um, sometimes, I mean, it's really a cure. Or if, you, or if you're really not doing too much, you could just, you just um, really just stop and just focus on what you really got to focus on. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why something is, like something's blocking. It's not letting it flow. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. There's something blocking that. So, like, Maybe you got to stop and, like, invest. Doing whatever you're doing. And that's in some cases. Or sometimes you just got to keep put a rewind on stuff that influenced you in the beginning and get that 
So like a refresher, you basically like saying go back to the basics, yeah. hit you know what I'm saying all your bases, and you know what I'm saying refresh yourself. But, but like it's, it's two options that you got in my case. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, in my um, opinion, you know what I'm saying. So like you can, just, you can pick from those two. If you really feel like you got to do it. Sometimes you got to stop and just chill out and just let life flow. Yeah, cause I had one guy tell me he said I just keep making music to some hit, and he's well he don't write so. I guess you can't have writer's block, but he punch in, but goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have a lot of fucked up music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you hit one, you like, damn, bah, bah, bah. I just made five songs about the same shit. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Teach his own, you know what I'm saying? Somebody also said, you got to go live life. Go live life. Yeah, that's something like, I think Cole said something. I think Cole said something like that, man. I don't know. Cole must have said something like that. Gotta go get exposure to new shit, you know what I'm saying? Can't have the same shit. Like he said, refreshers, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got a EP or a project? That's when it drop? You know what I'm saying? You got a music video or something? No, there's something. Really, I I'm not gonna lie, I got this one I got this one like project I've been lucky trying to um trying to come out with. It's called Night and Shine Shining Armor. Mm-hmm. But like I got this other joint that I want to low key drop before it. It's called. Kind of like set it up. Yeah, it's, it's called in the air. Like what's in the air? Yeah. Type shit. Some Beanie Siegel. Yeah. <laughs> well, like yeah, just like those two projects. This shit, you know what I'm saying? I need a, you know what I'm saying? Some wise words from the man himself. Go ahead, give us some. Not music advice, just advice. General life, you feel what I'm saying? Because everyone needs a pickup, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs to hear something nice, you know what I'm saying? Some some shit to get them focused, lock back in, you know what I'm saying? If you're an artist, you know what I'm saying? He finna lock you in. Um, faith without work is dead, you know what I'm saying? If you don't put that work in and you're praying at the same time, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you, it's like you still, you're still being a freeloader, you know what I'm saying? That's still like a way of freeloading, bro. So just like work towards whatever you're praying and it's going to actually happen. You know what I'm saying? God is real. That's one. Hey, man. Hey, he said some real stuff. He said plant that seed, man. You know what I'm saying? And let it glow. Grow. Goddamn, I said glow. It's going to glow too. You're going to glow up. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's my man right here. Lana from Dusk. Y'all go check him out. You know what I'm saying? He got music on all digital streaming platforms. He's on YouTube. My boy uh, shot by, what was it, JR, shot your video. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go see that video. Check him out. Shot by Jay, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's a dope. He's a dope um, videographer himself. He's done, like, incredible work for a bunch of artists out here in the DFW. So if y'all need, like, a video, y'all got to rock with him. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to. Little edit or a little caption right there yeah, for y'all so I can rock with Yeah, this. we right gonna there. put them right boop, there. Boop, boop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is there before we actually close out? Is there actually a dream collab that you have like in mind that you would like to get off? Like this is your moment right now. We could clip this and we can post this shit everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Basically, we trying to get whose attention. Man, Cole, get at me, yo. You know what I'm saying? Cole, get at me. What up? Hey, he being straightforward, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, J. Cole, hit us up. Hit Lando up. You know what I'm saying? Lano. Get Lano, excuse me. I'm so sorry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Get my man. Hit him up. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some work done. He hard. You know what I'm saying? Music tough. You know what I'm saying? Very um, introspective. It's not like just surface level music. You feel what I'm saying? So, y'all go check this man out, man. Very deep. Very... uh intellectual human being, you know what I'm saying? Peace.